MTD CNC are in Dungannon today in Northern Ireland. Uh, a quick hop over the water after an early start and I'm at BSK Engineering. I'm here with Gary. We're going to be talking about the Kerf machines that you have here. Uh, Gary, firstly tell us about BSK Engineering and what you actually do. Uh, BSK was established around 18 years ago. A small family company opened up doing gates and railings for domestic customers. Uh, ten years later they developed them themselves into the commercial sector for stairs, gates and railings and then shortly after that, after our first install of Kerf, uh, we were able to start into the supply of cut and folded parts. And, and that's what we're going to be talking about today, the cutting and the folding of the components. Well, actually we're just going to be talking about the cutting here because that is all you do, isn't it? You, you basically cut parts for the mining sector. Yeah, so we receive all our drawings from our clients. Uh, we process the drawings, program them in the machines, cut them, fold them, supply them. They do all their fabrication themselves. Okay, now behind us we've got two machines. Um, the one directly behind us here is eight metres by two metres in size. Do, eight by two and a half. Do you, do you ever fill this? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, not so much the two and a half, but definitely the eight metre length, always. Uh, with, with multiple parts or with, with one plate? Uh, some of them can be just one plate. So yeah, we, we, we cut sides from about 7.5 metres by 1,800 wide, and that's for screening. Uh, it's going all over the world to the different sectors. And, and tell me about the technology that you're using here, because this is a plasma, and it's the ultra-sharp plasma. So uh, what does that give you as a company over and above what you used to have, which was just a plasma? Your, your whole quality and your finished cut is miles, miles better. You know, um, you can cut up to four thicknesses and still achieve your tolerance on your holes of 0.5 of a mil, which is fantastic on our customers because it's critical that we receive them tolerances. Uh, what, what, what's the, the, the thickest that you can cut with this with this technology? Uh, the thickest that we personally cut here is 40 mil, and that's on the 275 amp curve settings. Um, on the ultra sharp, we cut up to 25 mil. And, and do you think these days, with the way plasma's moving, the cut is as good in a lot of instances as a laser? Definitely, I would say, definitely up to the 15, 12, 15 mil range, we're as good as laser and can achieve, achieve just as good a tolerance. And is there a, is there a speed compromise? Are the machines quite fast? The machines, I'd say after 10 mil, they're just as fast as laser. And, and, and then the cut quality, tell me about that then with the plasma. Uh, you can achieve everything you need to achieve here. Do you have to check the parts as much with the ultra sharp as you used to? Or do you kind of take it for granted now that the quality of the parts coming up is, off is more than good enough? It's very easy to take it for granted, but we still instruct our guys to do our quality checks um, as to meet our client demands. But more often than not, it's always there. Uh, the client demands are an important thing. You can't afford for these machines to go down or have a problem when your client needs parts. Um, how do Kerf respond if there are issues? And do you get many? There aren't many issues, but we rate Kerf on the response time more than the issues we have. Because if there is an issue, if that machine isn't up and going on the same day, it's definitely going the next day, which is it's fantastic. Like I know from other companies, you just don't get. And, and this in this unit here, we've got the two machines, but it's not the only two you have. You have a third. What's the difference with that particular model and that machine? So that was our first machine we installed. Um, it's only a, it's a three meter by 1500 bed. So that got us slowly into the sector. But when you're dealing with such large machines that are being made for the quarrying sector, you need just you need your longer parts. So that's why we decided to upgrade to the eight meter long. And, and what about the cost of consumables? Are these are these machines expensive to uh, to run or are they economical? Uh, in the long run, economical definitely. You know, you've got your oxygen and nitrogen, and then you have your your standard uh, copper consumables that go into your torch. And how, do you have to do much maintenance here? I mean, let's look. I, I I know this is a fabrication shop, and I know that you're you're cutting a lot of metal here. But they always looks like there's a lot of slurry. Uh, should we call it that? Being the correct term on these beds. How how do you get rid of it? How do you manage all of that? Okay, so they're not too bad. I'd say around the sixth month six month period, we would change the slots in these beds, and then. We would change the slots once, and then the next time we're changing the slots again, we would empty the bins. Gary, it's very easy for me to, to miss things as well sometimes when I'm interviewing. Is there anything else that stands out for you that Curve Developments have delivered? I'd say one of the big things that we've uh, experienced every time we've bought a machine would be your install time. Um, they give you a date, and they're on site 7 o'clock that morning on that date. 
and normally within three to four days that machine is up and cutting after testing which is fantastic like um, a four day install and the tidiness of it and the you know you can see for yourself it's it's second to none. There's also the control. I've heard they're very easy to use. Yeah, the control's great. Um, we can we can bring a new employee in here with no experience on a plasma and have him trained up within three to four hours. Um, no problem. He can use it then by himself. It's a uh, program everything in the office, and then he can set it up here by himself. So, if a competitor to Kerf came in this building and they, you were looking for another machine, they wouldn't last very long, would they? They'd probably be no. out in the hills. No, definitely not. They've they've been here, they've tried, but we always go back to Kerf.